All right, boys. Well, I've been keeping something a secret from you, a big, big secret, and it's right there in the box. So I, about two months ago, and sorry, I got everything closed up because we got landscaping, the whole family's here. It's wild. So, so sometimes it can be, there's like literally 25 people over there at the pool. So, and it's great, it's fun, but I wanted to film and I was too excited not to, so I closed everything off and it's my own little sanctuary in here now. Uh, but I bought these wheels about two months ago for the ZR1 and the cool thing about them is they're not just, you know, new wheels because I wanted a new look and they're kind of like the same deal as everything else that you see. Uh, these are unlike anything I have ever done and really unlike just about any other thing out there. These are from Brixton, full carbon, look at that beautiful cover, carbon fiber wheels. That's right, carbon fiber wheels, like a Koenigsegg or like a Ford GT500 or GT350R or GT, but carbon fiber wheels on the Corvette. Now I've heard a lot of rumors saying that for the C8 Z06, carbon fiber wheels will be an option. That would be really cool. Um, but you know, carbon fiber, obviously really, really light. These wheels, and those were all, you know, they were not heavy already. These wheels are eight and 11 pounds lighter than the wheels on the car. And that is a substantial weight loss of rotational mass on the vehicle. So that's actually, I mean, you're gonna definitely pick up some speed with these wheels. Not to load them up to get them put on, to get the tires put on, and then we'll bring them back here to get them on the car. I already have the rears off. So for the back, we are reusing the R888s. On the front, we did run into one, I'm about to trip over my own cord. We did run into one little issue, but it's not, no big deal. Uh, so the company that makes these is Dimag. They make the carbon fiber barrel, and they don't make anything under a 20 inch size. They only make a 20, and up. My car, I run a 19 on the front. So I had to bump up the front size to a 20, totally fine. But normally on a Corvette, like a lot of sports cars, they are staggered. So you have 19 front, 20 back. The back size is one inch larger than the front. Uh, so for me, I did not want to go to a 21 because I run an R888, a Toyo R888, and they don't make those in a 21 inch tire size. That means the VET is now going to be a 20 up front and a square 20 in the back. I think it will look really cool. And these wheels, I mean, they're expensive. Don't get me wrong. I might put it in the title, but uh, the, the end result is amazing. See, you can see the carbon fiber there. I mean, it's a full carbon fiber wheel, like a hyper car, and I'm excited for it. And one little detail, you can see I did the, the gloss carbon, and then black for the wheel face. And then a little time, just a little really cool detail. I did blue, so it's a Brixton PF3 wheel design. And you know, it says carbon over here. I did that in blue, the same blue that my ZR1 logos are in and my brake calipers are in and my stitching is in. In other words, the little blue accents on the wheel match all the accents on the car. Really cool, really, really cool and let's get them put on. Oh, wow, babe. The high country has the automatic tailgate that goes up. Oh, fancy. I did not know, I just went to grab it and it went, wait a minute, how do you use this? <laughs> oh my goodness, now wait a minute. Now wait, what, I, I press the button again? How does it work? Oh my God. <sighs> Okay, it just gets it gets better and better. <laughs> Everything loaded up, and uh, now we're heading down to Whitmore. What are you doing at Whitmore? We're doing something pretty crazy. What do you do? What is in here? A golf ball? Unreal. If you want to see what we're doing, you got to go to the family channel and subscribe. Go to the family channel. We got a big got a big family channel. Mike and Gina, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we're getting close to 50k. Yeah, we are. Getting close to 50K subscribers, so go subscribe and get us there. And if not, you know, you're just destroying our dreams, which is fine, but uh, you know, subscribe if you want. Okay, we're at Enchain Designs, and uh, luckily Shane already had a set of 20 inch front wheels that he had on his Z06, and he's going to let me borrow them. Those are my stock wheels on his car. So we trade a lot of stuff. We, we both 
have it. He's got my wheels. I'm taking his tires. You know, it's a whole, we share a lot. But, um, I mean, his car looks fantastic. And then it saved me having to, number one, buy tires, and number two, wait for tires. For, uh, <laughs> Should be right over here, I believe. No, nope, not those. Where are the, oh, over there. Got them. Think this is it. Should be a 285 by 3020. Uh, these look a little small, actually. No, that's it, 285, 3020. So that should be on the front. I might actually get one with a little more sidewall. These will do for now, we'll see. That's a pretty thin tire. At the same time, though, we can't go too big because there isn't that much room in the front for a 20. I mean, we've already got a 20 inch wheel. What the world is that? I try to film me jumping in this and so when I- Yeah, fall, I want to film you jumping in. Oh my ever, I had to get in it on film. <laughs> there you go, look at you. Rolling, eh? <laughs> yeah. So is that what you were at Bailey's for? Yeah, I was in the creek. <laughs> I had to test it. Dude, this thing's so high. But I'll tell you, yeah, like video doesn't do it justice, does it? No. I mean, I'm pretty, I mean, I'm not like too, like I'm not super tall. About six foot. I guess tough. It's it big. Suck. It's she just, a big girl. You gotta get some stats. You gotta get some. Uh, I'm working on the amp stats right now. Are you gonna now. do the ones that automatically open? When yeah, same as on my truck, but they dude, make an XL sweet. version. It comes down like pretty far. Pretty far. Yeah. It should help. Dude, I feel like I'm on top of the world. <laughs> I mean, you pretty much like you're almost level with a semi when you're driving, but it drives real nice. I think you'll like it. It's all smooth. <laughs> it probably rides better than the Hummer. Way better. Okay. There you go. The Hummer's is weak. It has like no <laughs> juice, no power. Well, you it's, got some juice in this. Even, you know, whenever I don't have the boat or anything <laughs> attached to it, I floor it and I'm standing still. Well, I remember we raced what? The Gladiator oh, and the Hummer and it was pretty close. Yeah, no, it was the Blazer and the, the Hummer. Bla yeah, that's right. The Blazer and the Hummer was the close. Blazer and the Hummer. I already know we're going to air down the back uh, to make it easier to get everything out. Really cool. Really cool. I'm actually, this is the first time I'm using that feature uh, for, for real, like not just to show it off, but uh, for function and practicality. So very nice. Very nice. There she comes. All right. That really is so freaking cool. It really is cool. Uh, everything is on a switch, so you're done dumping, and you have your compressor here, and you can see the truck's going back up now because there is air in the, in the tank, um, but you could, you know, leave it dumped. You can do whatever you want. It's really easy. It's two, two switches. Can't get any easier than that, and everything works, and it's really cool how they give you that little controller, and PDW just put it right in this like perfect location so you don't have to drill into the dash or anything. You can run the wire loom right through here uh, into where it needs to go to the battery and all that good stuff. So very nice. You wouldn't really even know it's there unless you know. And the R888s off of these wheels because they are basically brand, I, ju I just put them on. I think I only raced like once or twice with them. So we need those. What's up? What do you think? Have you yeah, seen them yet? No, I didn't even open them. Full carbon fiber. Oh I think they God. weigh like nine and a half pounds or something. He goes to show yeah. up, lift with his pinky, boom, falls. The only thing they said was like put a bunch of lube on it. Yeah, yeah. Like really just right, lube. Because so I, do I said, I was like, dude, Stuart, what do we got to do with these wheels? Should we, is there anything special? And he's like, you can leave the plastic on and peel it off after you mount it and just lube the crap out of them. Yeah. Lots of lube. A little nerve wracking for sure. I mean, these are by far the most expensive wheels I've ever bought. They're about 20 grand uh, for a set of them. And that is ridiculous. But I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's it's worth it. And it's it's the best technology that you can get right now in the world, carbon fiber wheels. Uh, it's on a freaking Koenig's egg. So what does that tell you? It is a lot of pressure for the guys doing it. And I felt bad. I didn't want to like, you know, hey, these are 20 grand, don't screw it up. I was just gonna say, hey, you know, they're some nice wheels, just be careful. But the guy, they're really cool here. They know us, so this is not uh, their first rodeo. He's over here trying to finagle an oil change during all this. No, I'm just trying to fit it in his crazy schedule. Oh, no, you're trying to finagle, so I said. It's not like I... You're finagling. <laughs> they got a word for people like you, finaglers. Hustlers. <laughs> Hustlers. The old bricks been coming up. Now, Shane, you want these wheels? You're saying? Absolutely. They will look on the Z. 
Yeah. They're gonna look good. These are way better than the factories. No so I get, I get my factory wheels yeah, back no on finally. Okay, I know you love I'll that take star it. Pattern. I do. I like it. It's like old. It's like '90s Ferrari wheels. On a vet. Super cool. It's crazy. Yeah, these look. I love these wheels. Yeah, they look like freaking. I do blades. love them. They're really cool. Meat grinder. When did we get these? Meat grinder. Meat grinder. Like, what? It's been a while. I feel like it's almost been like six years. six months. No, I haven't. I just had the car a year and yeah, a like a couple days car. ago. It might have been six months, but it felt like two years. Yeah, ago. I mean, yeah, it feels like five years, but I really do. I mean, I'll never not love these. Did the gloss black two piece gloss black uh, bolts and all that. Really cool, but my favorite thing is the color match on these. It's not like these are heavy. No. These are light to begin with. It's pretty wild, hold on. Yeah. That's a probably five, around Go straight five out pounds. So you see which ones get. Yeah, I can't, <laughs> he can can't barely do, do, what do that. Can do that. Take that back before I drop it. Then all that lube on there. It's gonna be looking real good. Tire gets on. That was easy. There you go. Oh, my, that machine's smarter than I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. How satisfying was that? Very. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, Shane's idea was great. Expel the lip. I think that's Sorry. for sure got to do that, which I appreciate, buddy. But it's a beautiful wheel. And I just, the blue accents are my favorite part. Gloss black, carbon fiber, blue. Great, these are great wheels, no doubt. Well, I could always run them again if I want to, but. You're getting the hand me downs. That's some heat. You're getting the hand me downs. We're back at home. We got the big boy Cody chilling. Got his fan. He just had some McDonald's. Oh, look at how cool the fan looks with the, uh, the GoPro. That's pretty neat. In the camera, you can actually see the blades spinning, but I can't. Uh, so he's chilling. He had some McDonald's and uh, I might've had some as well, but it's a great day here in the garage and we have the back wheels on. They look absolutely incredible. I mean, just, I, I can't believe I have carbon fiber wheels. It's, pr it's pretty hard to believe, crazy stuff. And it, it'll be interesting to see, is this, you know, will you see this more and more? Of course, you know, carbon fiber has worked its way down from the top, t you know, top tier racing cars all the way to like normal vehicles worked its way all the way down. Uh, so eventually, you know, we see carbon, I think the first production car, if you consider it, a, you know, kind of a production car to have carbon fiber wheels was the Koenigsegg. I think it was the Agera. And now you see it on a lot of Fords. Uh, GM is talking about it with the C8 Z06. So will we see more and more carbon fiber wheels on cars? I think we will, you know, especially as the technology improves and they become stronger, which it will, but the difference is crazy. I mean, the weight difference between an already light wheel and this is like, it's almost, it's only, it's like half the weight. And that is insane when you think about it. So these wheels are probably less than half of the weight of the factory wheels, I would bet you. Speaking of Brixton Forged, that is a perfect segue into a quick merch plug. Don't forget our Viper, our 2014 SRT Viper with Brixton Forged wheels on it and of course exhaust and a k and intake and a carbon fiber wing. Don't forget that car is available for you to win right now in ShaneDesigns.com every five bucks you spend is worth five entries starting on the 19th through the 21st. If you haven't gotten something yet or you have something already and you wanna maximize your entries, make sure you get something on the website starting on the 19th. That should be a day after this video goes live. So get something on the website, make sure you're entered and there will not be any more promotions until the end. So this is the only, you know, so don't wait for like, oh, they'll do triple entries or double entries. This is it. We're doing a big rush, five times entries for kind of over the weekend. And then that's it. Everything else will be, after that, everything will be back to normal. Every five bucks is one entry. So maximize your entries right now to win that car you only have Again, like really about 11 days left. If you watch this on the day it comes out, 11 or 12 days left to win that car. Surprisingly, it's our smallest giveaway really, one of our smallest uh, by far. You know, the Hellcat was a lot bigger and I don't know if people are scared of 
the Vipers cost, but you know, we can always, we'll offer to buy the car from you and just give you cash if you want it. So there are options. Do not miss out SRT Viper, 2014 SRT Viper with only 2,500 miles on it, like $10,000 wheels, the Corsa exhaust, it's freaking awesome. Now it looks, it's a little bit ugly right now because it doesn't have the center cap. Those are in the high, matter of fact, I'll just get them right now in there so <laughs> climb up real quick there's a bunch of three four i got these I, th I think i only i think i only need two of them because i should have two on the other uh wheels so should be good with two but then you can kind of see what it looks like it is what it looks like totally put together and all done really really cool and you can see the blue on the little touches of blue really accents the brake caliper nicely and that will i wanted to do a color that would work with the car yeah i could do a lighter blue but i wanted something that would work with the car whether it was whether it was wrapped or not because to be honest with you looking at like changing it up i feel like i've had this wrap on for a while by the way like i briefly talked about at the tire shop we passed recently the one year anniversary of the ZR1. I've had this car for a year. I've had it for a year already, which is big for me, right? Like I never keep cars that long and I love it. No, no signs of getting rid of her for sure. And it's been, it's been a really fun year. This car really uh, helped my channel a lot, you know, helped me out of a dark point in my life. And you know, I really love it. And it still pulls the views the last, video I did with it, I think I got like 400,000 views. And for me, that's a lot of views. So <laughs> the ZR1 is, she's great. Everyone loves it, I love it. Now let's get these fronts on and see how she looks all buttoned up. Cody's out in the yard so that we don't disturb him too much. Here we go. heavy car and I don't think the wheels look out of place at all on it god dang that gloss black with the blue oh wow that is super super dope in my opinion let me know what you think in the comments but wow wow I'm really I'm really really hyped because I was worried a little bit about the front but I mean the tire size is really good that that's like a perfect fit that's actually a lot better than the fitment i had i feel like i had too much tire well here you can see that's a 19 so it looked if that one looked kind of a little bit too small on the car and i think the 20 looks perfect fills out the wheel well a little bit more that's like really really good fitment on the car wow that's hype that's freaking hype you guys are gonna say i'm crazy but I feel like it's a little bit lighter on its feet. And I mean, we did take off a lot of weight. Seven or eight pounds of rotational mass. I mean, that's a big difference. They used to say that I think every 10 pounds of rotational mass is like taking out 100 pounds out of the car. So that would mean that we've taken out, we've taken out about 40 pounds of, well, not quite 40, we'll say 30 pounds of rotational mass 
uh, so somewhere around there so that would be like taking 300 pounds out of the car now I've never thought that that's true but even if it's like deleting a hundred pounds from the car overall weight which I think that's kind of more realistic I mean that would really make a difference a hundred pounds is worth a tenth in the quarter and when you're fighting for every tenth that really is a big difference <laughs> And you're dealing with a car that has 850 pound feet of torque to the wheels and it only weighs about 3600 pounds to begin with I feel like this was a real performance gain as well I know you guys want to hear the pops so we'll do that <laughs> I love that oh yes Never gets old. Literally never gets old. I never don't laugh at it when I do it. And I do it off camera as well. Oh my. I, feel, I swear to God, I feel like it's a little bit quicker. Like it feels like it just, it hits a little bit harder. Oh my God. Is it possible that we've made? Oh my god, look at that! Woo! Is it possible we've made the ZR1 even faster? Wild, I didn't think, you know, I was prepared to make a video where I was like, yeah, you know, they look cool, but I don't really feel a difference. Like, that's totally what I was expecting to say. And I actually do think I feel a real difference. Maybe those people are right. I always thought, I, you know, I always thought those people were crazy. The people that were like, oh, if you take away 10 pounds off the wheels, that's like 100 pounds off the car. Yeah, you know, I thought they were insane, but maybe, maybe they're right. Maybe it is that drastic. Not like this car needed to be any faster, but I'll take it. Well, got too excited uh, driving the car. Forgot to film an outro, but hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think of the new carbon fiber wheels in the comments. If you did enjoy this upload, give it a big thumbs up. Take care and have a great night, guys.